Hi, I'm Jungwon, and today I get to introduce you to some amazing new features in Illicit. We're calling these notebooks, and notebooks are going to transform how you use Illicit, the impact they have on your research, and really we hope what your research workflows look like overall. This is just an intro video, so I want to lay out for you our vision for notebooks, what problems you are trying to solve, and then introduce you to the rest of the series. Because there are so many new features and so many new workflows, I thought it would be best to break those up into smaller videos. So over the course of the videos in the series, I'm going to show you how you can use notebooks to find a maximally comprehensive set of papers. You're going to be able to ask multiple queries about the same topic, all in, a same, all in the single project or on the same page, and really ensure that you get as many relevant papers as possible. Notebooks are going to enable you to do screening and paper retrieval for uh, systematic reviews. So again, try and cast a really broad net of papers and then systematically narrow them down to the most relevant set of papers. It's going to let you chat with papers, which has been an incredibly popular request. You'll be able to select the papers you want to chat with and ask follow-up questions. Um, you'll be able to pick the papers you want to summarize and generate as many summaries as possible. Overall, Notebooks is going to make Illicit significantly more flexible and what we call unbounded. It's going to let you keep digging into the research and going deeper and deeper and deeper, asking different questions, adjacent questions, follow-up questions, and ultimately we hope that Illicit can be the home for all of your deep thinking. In terms of our vision, there are a few different challenges with research workflows that we're hoping Illicit can solve, and Notebooks lays the foundations for that. So first, we know that research is a very iterative process. Sometimes you don't know exactly where you're going to end up when you get started. You don't really know what you're looking for. And every step of the way, you kind of have to stop and think, where do I want to go next? It's not a straightforward step-by-step -step process. Um, and even if you do have a better good sense of what you want, sometimes depending on what you find, you want to go back and change uh, your process or kind of update what you're looking for. So Notebooks kind of enables you to take that iterative approach. Um, we also know that research is a very complicated process. So sometimes you wanna go really broad and sometimes you wanna go really deep. Um, and Notebooks is actually kind of at many different levels allows you to go broad and deep without getting lost, right? So without kind of ending up on some, in some rabbit hole and, and having no idea how you ended up there, Notebooks will kind of let you go as deep as you want and then be able to zoom back up to the high level research questions that you're looking at. Um, and then lastly, um, Notebooks is going to enable you to run your research workflows at a much greater scale. So if you are trying to do a systematic review over thousands of papers and eventually millions of papers, Notebooks will allow you to kind of set out your process step by step, set out your criteria, and then run them over a very large amount of inputs. So it's much more scalable than the previous version of Illicit was. Overall, we hope that uh, Notebooks makes Illicit unbounded. This is one of the core product philosophies that we have. We want research to be a living process, kind of a living analysis of all the information. So a PDF is pretty brittle. You can't really extend it. You can't really customize the analysis. You can't customize the content. But the more this kind of rich research insights live in Illicit, the more you can share your work, the more you can go back and check your work, the more you can extend your work, and the more you can keep asking follow-up questions whenever a new paper comes out. So that's a little bit about the high-level vision of notebooks. If that's overwhelming, then you can still do everything you are able to do in Illicit just as before. Illicit Plus subscribers will have access to slightly more capabilities than our regular users, but our regular users will also have access to notebooks. So in Illicit Plus, you'll be able to chat with more papers, for example, as well as continue to get the benefits of exporting, high accuracy mode, extracting data from tables, and so on. So I'm really excited for you to try notebooks. Go ahead, give us lots of feedback. Again, we're kind of establishing the foundations here to do some really, really rich things. And over time, I hope you can create your own workflows in Elicit and share your best practices with your coworkers and the rest of the research community. Thank you.